Well, good, good morning, everyone. Uh, my name is Jim Parabek, and I'm the president uh, and CEO of this facility on behalf of Jewish Hospital and St. Mary's Healthcare. I'd like to welcome you all here. Um, and we're here today to announce a major improvement in healthcare for the residents of Louisville, and particularly here in the South End. Our newly remodeled cardiac catheterization lab now gives physicians the capability not just to diagnose blocked arteries and other heart problems, but also to fix those problems right here in this lab. In fact, we've already performed four of these procedures within the last two weeks. The first case was performed on November 17th on a 64-year-old man who received a new stent in an artery where an earlier stent had closed. The patient is doing well following the procedure and is recovering at home with his family. His family told us before they left that they were very thankful they could receive this type of care so close to home here in South Louisville. Prior to the opening of the new cath lab, this patient would have been needed to be transported downtown to receive the same care. And anytime you can do these presentations quicker, um, it saves heart muscle, and that's always better for an outcome for the patient. Currently, all the procedures in our cath lab are, cath lab are scheduled, but soon we'll be able to perform emergency procedures when the patients present with heart problems in our emergency department. That is especially important considering the emergency department here at St. Mary's is the second busiest emergency department in the, st in the city. The new cardiac cath lab here is a pilot project, one of only 40 in the United States. But the cath lab project would not have happened without the help of congressional funding secured by our guest of honor, Congressman John Yarmouth. I would like to thank the congressman for his help in this project and now recognize some other elected officials with us today. First, we have two state reps, Mike Nemus and Wade Hurt. I saw Mr. Nemus here. Is, is Wade here? Okay. We'll recognize him again when he comes. We have two members of the Louisville Metro Council and Marianne Butler and Vicki Welsh. Thank you all for being here. I'd also like to recognize Dr. Bill Lacey, who is the president of our medical staff. Thank you all for attending and the work you do for this community. Now I would like to welcome Congressman Yarmouth to the podium for his remarks on this announcement. Well, thank you very much, Jim, and thanks to all of you for being here today. It's uh, a great honor to be here to talk about something that represents a, a great advancement in health care for this entire community, but particularly for the south uh, end of Louisville. Uh, it's been several years since I actually came out here for the first time and, and walked through the hospital and was uh, introduced to the idea of creating uh, this new capability in Louisville. And, uh, Back when we had earmarks, it was uh, a, a pretty easy sell, actually, to try and get to help get federal funding for this very important project. 140,000 residents in this part of the community uh, use this hospital, and I think it's about 45,000 a year in terms of actual visits to the emergency room, everything from getting stitched up and uh, to these very serious uh, heart issues. And now residents of this area will no longer have to go across town or, or downtown when they need uh, uh, emergency care for a heart attack. So it, this is the type of federal investment that I think is very easy to justify. This will improve the quality of care for, again, more than 140,000 Louisvillians, and uh, it's a great honor to be a partner in uh, this type of project. I want to thank the doctors and staff at, at Saints Mary and Elizabeth uh, and also Jewish for putting this project together because without the talent and the expertise, this project would be meaningless. Ultimately, these are the, the lifesavers and not the equipment and not the lab, but the people here. So I want to thank you for all you do for Louisville and uh, once again, say how, how great an honor it was and how easy it was uh, in this particular case to justify funding for a very, very important project. Thanks for having me. Thank you, Congressman. I'd also recognize um, Mr. David Laird, who's the president and CEO of Jewish Hospital and St. Mary's Healthcare. Is Lewis Waterman here today too? We had our board chair, who unfortunately was not able to make it. Um, but also I want to recognize uh, Lisa Dolan, who's our chief nursing officer here. And Lisa does a great job for us and, and really appreciate all the work she does. And Dr. Jim Ketterhagen is our chief medical officer for Jewish and St. Mary's as well. So thank you all for being here. Oh, Ken Johnson just walked in as well. And Ken's our chief operating officer. is very instrumental in, in this program and helping to, to write the grant and secure these funds. Um, the improvements in the cath lab also must are the 
must be credited to uh, the tireless work by our four cardiology groups working at St. Mary's and Elizabeth Hospital. And that's right, we have four cardiology groups that work and we're very proud of that. Representing the cardiologist today is Dr. Aaron Umont of Bluegrass Cardiology Associates, who has been performing interventional cardiology procedures for a number of years. Um, but until recently, he would only perform these interventions at other facil facilities such as Jewish Hospital. I would like to ask Dr. Umat to come up and share some additional thoughts about what this means to patient care. Morning. Morning, Congressman. Uh, thank you, Jim. Thank Jim just asked me to speak here a few minutes ago, so I didn't really prepare, uh, prepare my remarks. But... You know, this has been a community hospital for as long as I've known. I came here 31 years ago. We started the first cath lab in this end of town in South End at Southwest Hospital about 25 years ago, and that functioned well. And a fragmented part of cardiology care had been a problem in this end of town because patients would come in, get their diagnostic workup done, and would have to go to Jewish or uh, other hospitals to get their angioplasties or surgeries. I think surgery would never be a realistic goal to have in this hospital because you need the numbers, but angioplasty as the technique has developed and the technologies have improved, people have become more uh, cognizant of the fact that you need to get care sooner the better. And all over the country, the impetus has been to get the patients to the hospital, get their arteries open, and that's what we hope to achieve. Thank you, Mr. Yarmuth, for procuring the funding for us because I think one day this hospital will achieve the state-of-the-art capabilities that the facility can provide. My colleagues in cardiology do an excel excellent job. This was a combined effort by eight or 10 cardiologists put together. They, they made their reputations bringing the patients here. The patients come here because of the care they get from all the cardiologists. And we hope to take care of the patients because the population in this end of town is getting older. And it, you really feel bad in uh, taking these patients all over town and their families have to travel all across town and they get lost, the patients get lost, and I hope they would benefit from uh, the facility available here. And I really could not thank you more than to say, we've been trying this, trying to get this funding and procurement and, and your help is really appreciated and will be long, long remembered. Thank you. Just wanted to point out a few other things. This cath lab is just further evidence of our commitment to this community. Um, we're working with architects right now to renovate our long overdue renovation for our emergency department. We have, like I said before, we have the second large or busiest emergency department in the city. Um, we'll also soon be unveiling a brand new $16 million central plant that was damaged in the flood. And we're all got our fingers crossed that it doesn't rain like that again today. Um, and St. Mary's and Elizabeth is sure to play a part in the improvement of health care all over Kentucky with the proposed merger of Jewish Hospital and St. Mary's Healthcare, the University of Louisville Healthcare, and the St. Joseph Health System in Lexington. The merger will bring much needed improvements in available care to Kentucky communities in the same way that this hospital has in South Louisville for the last 137 years. I would like to thank you all for coming today, and we'd now like to invite our elected officials up. And if I could get David, Ken, and Lisa to join me up here behind the ribbon, and we're going to cut this as a symbol of the opening of the cath lab, and then we will go upstairs and, and let you all see the new cath lab and have a, a tour of that. Dr. Umon, if you could come up, and Dr. Green Blossom, would you join us as well, please? Type that would be great. Get our docs up here too. Couldn't have done this without them. Good. No, no, we're almost ready. Come on, come on. Come on, docs. Don't be shy now. All right.